In tonight's Question Everything, we're asking, does the world rely on the internet too much? This very well could be the biggest tech outage in history. Thousands of flights grounded, medical surgeries halted, as antivirus firm CrowdStrike works to get their system back up. One flaw or potentially any type of malicious activity in that supply chain of that software can cause absolute chaos and havoc on critical infrastructures globally. Cybersecurity expert Peter Tran explains much of the nation and the world rely on software like CrowdStrike to detect suspicious activity, stopping it at the source. And when that system takes a hit, it's very alarming because it shows how dependent critical infrastructure and systems such as transportation, communications, banking, healthcare has on the supply chain and the vendors such as CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike and CEO maintains this wasn't a cyber file. attack, Obviously, but a bug in the uh, program update impacting many Microsoft users. But WBZ security analyst Ed Davis says the outage still exposes a national security risk. When the system goes down, when you're trying to fix it, you're vulnerable to nation-state interference and other things that could have happened. So uh, a bad guy can exploit the vulnerability very quickly and create problems even bigger than, than, the, uh, than the programming error. Simply put, we don't know how much of our nation's data is fully protected until the system is fully operating again. Well, the good news is that most systems have other protection in place, such as firewalls. CrowdStrike just happened to be the most while no technology is foolproof, experts say having more than one antivirus system could prevent another massive outage. If the best drops and, and you don't have them and you don't have anybody else, um, there's, that can, you know, you don't, you're in trouble. But the overall vulnerability, the fact that you put all your eggs in one basket, for instance, might be something we need to take a look at. So if you have a question you'd like us to answer, send us an email at questioneverything at cbsboston.com.